Tonight, colleges are kicking their cleaning efforts into high gear with several local students being monitored after they may have been exposed to coronavirus. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is live at Kasumnas River College with the concern on campus. Rachel? Well, we're starting to see the ripple effect from all of this, how close it's really hitting to home. Think about it. Remember when you were a student, all the things you touch, everything from the handrail to a table in the cafeteria, even a classroom doorknob. This is really troubling for many people because some of the students who've been exposed may have exposed others. Grabbed random um, house cleaning wipes. Alexi Jenkins brought wipes and hand sanitizer to class Thursday. Yeah, we are a little bit worried. After American River College announced a student who works as a medical professional off campus was exposed to a person who has since tested positive for the coronavirus. That student returned to campus after the exposure. The same happened at Consumnes River College. Um, it alarmed me a little bit. A Sac City student was also exposed but did not return to school. Even though there are no indications campus members are at risk, all three students Students are self quarantining for 14 days. That's the scary part, say students. People could have gotten it from that one person and not know it for two weeks and be spreading it for two weeks to different class. Who knows? Earlier in the day, UC Davis announced one of their students was being tested for the coronavirus by the CDC. That student and two roommates, although asymptomatic, are self isolating as a precautionary measure. They all live in Kearney Hall. It's caused a lot of chaos. Allison Lulin says the dorm is on edge. Now everyone's just like scared to talk to each other and like go near each other. Some students are wearing masks and all are washing hands more often. This comes as UCD increases cleaning efforts. The health of our students is always a concern. Uh, in the last month or so, student housing has upped their cleaning protocols and increased their sanitizing protocols. So they're now doing sanitizing on a daily basis. So all of the community colleges in question say they have upped their cleaning efforts and that additional cleaning protocols are in place, although they didn't get into the specifics of those. I'm sure that everybody will be looking at those very closely in the weeks to come.